Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and just a quick video today on the difference between read only and disabled with HTML form fields. Okay, so um, basically here we have three different types of fields. We have a regular field, we have a read only field and we have a disabled field. So right off the bat, um, the main difference here is that uh, regular is obviously just a regular field. You can enter in um, whatever you like. For example, username, we can say decode. And that's fine um, and a read only field is one where you can actually focus in on the field itself um, as if you can actually type in it um, but you can't actually edit it so browsers don't allow you to edit read only fields um, okay so that's the main difference right there between regular and read only now um, we now have the disabled field and this one uh, cannot be even focused on. So we can see here that read only and disabled are very, very similar, but essentially read only just means that you can't edit, but you can focus and highlight it. Whereas disabled is just, yeah, look mate, or you can highlight it also, um, but it just says, yeah, look, um, it's basically disabled. You can't even focus in and try to um, edit the field. Okay, so that's the main difference um, in the UI perspective, okay? Now behind the scenes, it's a bit more complicated, but not really, okay? So inside the HTML for this document, we have this right here. We have the regular field, which is just, you know, has a name of RD, short for uh, read only disabled underscore username, okay? So that's the uh, form field name. And we have a read only field. We have a uh, name of RD occupation. So this person is a uh, developer. And we have the read only attribute right there. And we have also uh, the disabled field. So we have disabled uh, RD underscore country and this one is disabled, okay? So um, this form submits to a uh, PHP file called login.php, okay? And um, inside that PHP file, we can see that we're simply just um, dumping out um, or displaying all of the post data that was sent with um, the request. Okay, so um, if I was to just uh, go inside the browser, type in my username decode and press submit, we see here that RD username was submitted with a value of decode and occupation was submitted with a value of developer. So what's happened here is that the read only field RD underscore occupation has been sent through to the server. Okay, so the web browser is going to send through that field. Okay, whereas the disabled field is not sent at all. So um, all browsers are not going to send through your disabled form field. So um, it you know could be useful for you to output um, some of your fields uh, with a uh, read only attribute that way they are sent back to the server if you're updating data or something like that whereas disabled should only be used for uh, visual purposes or to actually inform your users of some sort of uh, data or state okay and that is the difference between uh, the read only and the disabled um, attributes inside HTML Thanks for watching and I will see you later.